Hi, my name is Katia Mori. I am 20 years old. Um, I major in electrical and computer engineering and minor in Spanish at UTSA. Um, I currently live in San Antonio, Texas, and I was born in Fort Collins, but pretty much raised in San Antonio. I lived in Corpus for a couple years, but I lived in San Antonio for about 14 years. So I want to say I was raised there. Um, yeah, I want to say my first memory was moving to San Antonio. I just kind of remember, um, the moving van and just kind of going. Um, I didn't really think of it as, like, another city. I was just kind of like, oh, it's a new house. So, and I was also very young. I was about six years old when that happened. Yeah. Um, Let's see, I am moving to Bilbao, Spain next semester. I will be living there for about five months. Um, and yes, I have visited Spain before. Um, I fell in love with the country. I loved the culture. I love the people. Um, I just really kind of enjoyed every aspect of it, the good and the bad. And I kind of just thought to myself, like, I have to come back. Like, I, w I went when I was 16 and I was like, I need to get my Spanish really good so I get to come back. Um, yeah, um, I don't think Spain was a huge culture shock. I want to say that's due to the fact that I've been to Peru a couple times when I was younger and kind of getting that Spanish, like Spanish speaking country experience at a young age um, made Spain not as difficult to get used to. Um, I have very definitive memories of Peru. Um, so just kind of Spain, I treated that as like a a different version of it per se when it came to culture um so when i'm studying abroad in spain i will be with a host family um, i currently don't know who that is yet but i will be living um at a house with a spanish-speaking family about i want to say 20 minutes away from campus at least um it should be very communable um Let's see, are there any similarities between Spain and San Antonio that make it more homey to me? I think the fact that San Antonio does implement a lot of Spanish and, like, I guess Hispanic culture. Um, I, like, for example, the radios, half the time the ads are in Spanish, YouTube ads are in Spanish, um, billboards, TV ads, you name it. Um, you know, you hear Spanish pretty much all the time. It's not a dominant language um there's definitely a ton of english here but not like spain where it's purely spanish but you definitely have at least one occurrence where you can hear people speaking in spanish or you have very hispanic influences in things like grocery stores and universities and even like regular stores um i think home i want to say texas is my home i've been here for a while um I may not be, like, a born native Texan, but I just feel like the culture, the vibe, um, just kind of, like, the values, for the most part, I can pretty much share with. Um, and honestly, home is just where my family is, you know? Just wherever they are. Because I do care about them a lot. That's where I am. <laughs> um, yeah, I have some pretty high expectations for Spain. I do think... It's going to be very different from San Antonio just because I'm not going to be around my family. I'm going to be around a different kind of family. Um, and I'll be experiencing a lot of things alone. So um, I think for in that regard, I guess that will be kind of an expectation. Um, I think San Antonio did prepare me a lot for Spanish culture just because it is a very Hispanic-influenced city. It's not like, for example, Denver, where it's pure, like, English, and you don't hear a lick of Spanish, or not really, like, anything Hispanic, or even, like, country, international influence into it, unlike San Antonio. Uh, yeah, how do I think moving out is going to affect me? Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. Okay, emotionally, it's probably going to affect me a, a lot more than I am anticipating, and I'm already anticipating it's going to influence me a lot. Um... Yeah, just because kind of like how I mentioned earlier, everything I'm going to do is alone and 
I'm going to be in a completely different continent. So I think emotionally that is going to sting. Every single thing about my life will be different. Um, I peer mentor, so I told my freshman all the time, like, freshman year sucks because your head, you know, like mentally, like you're exhausted because you're doing everything for the first time. And I feel like I'm going to go through the exact same thing emotionally when I go to Spain. And I guess that can be tied in mentally as well. Um, spiritually, I want to say it's going to be about the same, um, just because Catholicism is very big over there. Um, I don't think I'm going to have too much difficulty, I guess, transitioning from English to Spanish, it's just because it's the same thing. <laughs> and physically, honestly, though, I think just because of the pure, like, diet and, like, um, the fact that I'm going to be walking a ton... Uh, I'll be eating during different times of day, eating different types of food. Um, food processing is different in Europe than it is here. I think physically, um, that would probably change. <laughs> I would probably either fluctuate in weight. Maybe I get a little bit more muscle just because I'm walking a lot. Um, but who's to say? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. Um, is there anything about my life in San Antonio that is pushing me to go to Spain? Or why did I pick to go to Spain? Um, I picked Spain because Spanish, just the language itself, means a lot to me. Uh, I grew up with it, and I think any every influential teacher I've had in high school was a Spanish teacher. Um, that was probably the only class I really felt good in, and a class that I really enjoyed learning in and being a part of. So I kind of knew, like, from the start, like, I need to study abroad um, and be able to share the Spanish or like I guess take the knowledge I have now and not only bring it out in Spain but at the same time gain that knowledge and bring it here and I think San Antonio has done a great job just because of the Hispanic community here is huge so I do have an opportunity to like practice my Spanish and kind of get that Spanish I guess mannerisms here so that way when I go over there it's not so much of a culture shock um yeah I think San Antonio, I'm definitely going to miss the people. Um, I, I assume Spanish people are very friendly, but I know in San Antonio, um, people are beyond welcoming and they're so kind. And I have a lot of friends and family here that I'm going to miss a ton. So that's probably the biggest thing I'm going to miss. But I think if we're talking about like city culture, um, I might miss English. I speak English all the time. So the fact that I'm not going to be exposed to it as much as I am here in San Antonio that's I'm probably gonna miss that you know I do enjoy Spanish but I enjoy English just as much so yeah let's see after you graduate do you see yourself leaving San Antonio leaving the city or ooh okay I think it kind of depends on my career um I'll be honest with you I think just career wise I don't think I'm gonna stay in San Antonio uh, I think they're just bigger and better opportunities for me elsewhere. I'm not 100% sure I would go back to Spain. Just because um, to get a worker's visa is extremely hard. Um, and also just like their curriculum over there, the university curriculum is different. I feel like um, they are definitely looking for European like university style employees in Europe. Um, and also I work with electronics and electricity and um, just the way we power in the US is different from S Spain and Europe. So um, I wouldn't be opposed to moving back there, but I don't think I would. I would probably stay in the US, but I'm not sure if I would stay in San Antonio per se. Um, yeah, I think um, there is more benefits from moving when I'm 20 than when I was 18. Um, I think when I was 18, I was young. I mean, and I am young. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a grandma, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, when you're 18, and especially when you're experiencing college for the first time, it, I, like I mentioned earlier, it's so different from high school. Um, you're definitely way more independent academically than you've been through the last 12 years of education so being able to handle like moving out and that academic independence would have been I guess for me very difficult I think now that I have a hand on um, being able to manage my time and um, being able to handle the course load it's just one less thing I have to worry about when I go to Spain so yeah I'm 
I think just the emotional maturity of being able to handle a university life um, is more, it would be beneficial. Uh, do you think I have any regrets? No. Um, I mean, I have fears, you know, it's very, I think I'm kind of starting to realize I'm kind of, you know, moving to another country alone is a little scary, but I don't think I'm going to regret anything. I think everything happens for a reason. Um, there's a reason my papers went through. There's a reason my visa is getting approved and there's a reason I'm going right. Um, so I don't think I'm going to get any, re I'm, I don't think I'll regret anything from that. Plus, even, you know, if it does go negatively, like, it's a learning experience and any experience that I get to benefit from, whether that's positive or negative, is, um, can't be regretted. So, is there any advice I want to give someone younger in regard to studying abroad? I think you need to know what you're getting into. Um, kind of like how I've been previously mentioned, and I'll mention it again, um, college is different. College is, um, unique and it's new. And 